back. I'm joined now by the Fianna Fáil spokesperson on education, Thomas Byrne, who says the government must now cancel this year's Leaving Cert and work on what he calls fair alternatives. Welcome to the programme, Thomas. Um, if I could start by asking, OK, we all know this is problematic, whatever you do, predictive marking, mocks, or the written examination. What is your fair alternative? Well, first of all, Ivan, I mean, where we've come from is that we've tried to give to the department a fair win than this because we believe that it is a difficult situation for them, undoubtedly. Uh, but I've come to the conclusion, I've asked for the public health advice which the department has, which says that the Leaving Cert can go ahead and the ways that it can go ahead, and I haven't received that. Uh, and then last Friday, uh, the, the government published a roadmap, as you've just been discussing, to get out of the restrictions. The Leaving Cert is not mentioned uh, as one of the preeminent events of the summer. Uh, where large crowds gather in large amounts of uh, schools all around the country. So uh, I came to the conclusion that the stress and uncertainty for students was too much. And rather than us not saying what we believed publicly uh, previously, to, so as we wouldn't add to the stress and uncertainty, uh, I felt it was better to try and bring this to a head at this particular point and get some certainty from the government. So uh, when, when I discussed this on your show a couple of weeks ago, in fact, the minister uh, announced on the show uh, that he was putting in place supports for broadband technology, etc. Now, they materialised, uh, Ivan, but to a very small degree, it has to be said, with very little support around the country, and uh, the broadband divides and other divides remain. So, the Leaving Cert, it seems to me, I, I, I haven't seen the evidence uh, that there's a public health basis in which to hold it. The department has to explain that. The department has an advisory group on exams, Ivan, and there's no public health expert on it. And as far as I've been told, uh, no public health presentation has been given to that group either, and I find that... Uh, absolutely Tom, shocking. Tom, uh, Tom, if Tom, Tom, all yeah. fair comment. My question is very simple. Yes, if you pick but, it's, mocks, but it's very fundamental. No, if you, you know, no, if you pick mocks, if you pre uh, get predictive marking, it brings a subjective element into it. It might be challenged yeah. in the courts. What is your fair alternative to a written exam? Well, obviously that's key because no solution is going to be perfect. So there have been a number of... Uh, 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 solutions put forward. The minister himself in the Dáil on the 23rd of April, after I privately told him I, I believe he should cancel on that day, uh, he said in the Dáil the department was looking at alternatives and it's important that they really ramp up that work very, very quickly and show us the work that's been done. But a number have been put forward uh, and they would include, for example, we had um, Colin Cregan, uh, who's the Chief Inspector of Schools of Dubai, former inspector here, and he has put forward a model of predictive grading and, in fact, is still working on it, but has put, put it forward and uh, largely complete, which doesn't actually involve teachers making the predictions. Uh, it involves gathering data from schools over the last two years of the Leaving Cert uh, senior cycle, uh, using that data or using mock data, which at the choice of the students in his case. But there are other methods as well, and I have to say I've been quite pleased by some correspondence that I've got over the weekend since I made my call from uh, senior education is putting forward ideas uh, to the government in an effort to get this. But what senior people are saying to me is they just don't see any public health basis at the moment uh, as to the leaving start going ahead. And I think uh, any time Tony Holohan is asked about this, he tends to say it's a matter for the Department of Education. Now, he comments about every other aspect of Irish life, and rightly so, and that has certainly led me to raise questions privately, uh, but, now, but now publicly, uh, as to whether this can go ahead. Uh, Thomas, please stay with us, because we want to discuss yeah. uh, government formation presently. But I want to put that to the panel. Kate uh, O'Connell has joined us, pharmacist, and Michael O'Keefe is, is still with us. I mean, you know, there, there is no perfect solution. We're into Brian Lenehan's uh, least worst <laughs> scenario. What, what's, what's your reaction to the Leaving Cert? <clears throat> I suppose, as somebody who every year quivers at the thought of the Leaving Cert exams, I think many of us have still post-traumatic stress from it. I can understand um, how uncertainty would add to the anxiety for students. Um, I, I really would not be in favour of changing the goalposts uh, for students at this time, um, having to look back at two years' work when that wasn't on the agenda two years ago, would to me seem very unfair. My preference, personally, and I'm not an education expert or a teacher like Thomas, is, is that um, it, the exams would go ahead and would be achievable 
um, in a way that is safe, where social distancing can be attained and um, where there is fairness for the students. Because many people, um, predictive marking would not suit them. I know it wouldn't have suited me um, back in the day. Um, I do feel in particular for people who are repeating their Leaving Cert, who have put in perhaps a lot of work, have identified their weaknesses, and this perhaps would not suit them, and they're getting a year older, well, Michael, like we all are. You could have a situation that a parent would be given a, a, a guesstimate mark, a predictive mark, to their son or daughter. Oh, I, I think it would be open to huge challenge. I think it wouldn't, wouldn't run. You have to have an exam of some shape or form, and as Kate says, these been working for two years. And some people work the last six months and they cram it all in. So you're going back and say two years ago they took it, they took it easy, and then they, did know they were, got a very poor mark because of that. Oh, it has to be an exam, and it has to be a written exam, and in my view, otherwise I think it, it won't run. Thomas, um, a bit of a breakthrough today, uh, the party leaders meeting uh, Eamon Ryan and Thursday negotiations will commence, some suggestion before, before